Hello friends, today we're gonna be stretching our ears yet again. I am bumping, I don't know why I did this. Um, I am, <laughs> anyways, I am bumping from a 14 gauge that I currently have right now to a 12 gauge. This is my second video on my like ear stretching journey. If you wanna see my first one, I will link it in the description. But yeah, so I'm going to get started. But of course, before I begin, if you guys want to be friends outside of YouTube, you can find me up here and also in the description box as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, um, I've had these in for about four weeks. I did not mean to have them in that long. Um, everyone's different, so it really depends on your comfort. You can leave them in as long as you are comfortable. My initial goal was like two weeks, a week and a half, only because... When I first um, stretched them, it was really easy for me. So that told me that like, if I wanted to, I could have possibly went up to a 12 already. But I was like, you know, I'm just gonna play it safe, stay at 14. I literally just started recording and this thing is already telling me that it's about to die. Like, how, Sway? By the way, I will leave a link to the ear stretching kit that I'm using in the description box, just so if anyone is interested. I don't know why I feel like it's super dark. The 14 gauge we're done with you wait actually let me show you a comparison so you can see the difference in the sizes okay this is a 12 gauge and then this is a 14 gauge as you can see it is not that much of a difference very slight <laughs> but yeah some slight okay first things first I'm gonna take these guys out obviously it was nice knowing you friends okay so i am just going to um clean my ears real quick with some cold water just so they're nice and clean even though i took a shower earlier and did the same exact thing earlier just for the sake of this video i'm gonna do it again okay so my lobes are nice and clean um i'm gonna take the taper now this is hello hello Hello, please. I'm going to take the tapers now and um, I'm going to lube them up. I read online that you can use different things. You can use vitamin E, shea butter, um, I think cocoa butter. I could be wrong, but I know shea butter for a fact. Okay, now that the taper is pretty much nice and lubed up, I'm just going to take some on my ear as well. Just so everything is nice and... Nice and luby, nice and groovy. Um, last time I needed to be all up in the mirror. I don't think I need to be in this case because I kind of know what I'm doing, I think. I might have to bump up the lighting again so you can see, but let's just give it a go. You're kidding me. Why did that go in? Oh, whoa, almost popped it right back out. Bro, like look, literally. I just pulled it out like nothing like it just it went in so easy look at this <laughs> did I say we were bumping up to a 12 gauge in this video I lied I meant a 10 gauge okay so this is what the 10 gauge looks like it's pretty similar to um, the 12 gauge slightly bigger obviously but actually where is the 12 gauge I I, I think I'm actually gonna do a comparison of like the 14 and the 10 gauge only because the 12 gauge didn't we, we all know that it didn't work out so I'm just gonna show you the size difference there the one on this side is a 14 and then the one on the other side is a 10 gauge which looking at them now like side by side there is a pretty pretty distinct size difference but I mean we all just seen 12 did not, it just did not pull through. I mean, it, well, it did. It literally did pull through and that's why we're not using it. Once again, making sure this is all nice and looped up. And then obviously not gonna forget my ears again, even though I just looped them. But it's good to have extra, I guess. Okay, size 10 gauge. We are sliding that in nice and slow. We're reaching a little bit of pressure. Mm, we're almost there. Okay. 
This actually wasn't too bad either. I'm actually gonna leave this taper in while I do the other side just so this can kind of like sit and you know relax a little bit before moving on to the actual gauge. Okay, so that one was another easy one. Both pretty easy. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of like pressure. So to me, I, I, that just tells me that there is some stretching going on. It's not like 12 where I literally just like slid right through, no feeling of any kind. So um, I'm gonna stop at a 10. And um, in about a week or two, I'll bump up again. This is the actual gauge itself at the top. Um, it has like a black stopper that's to go in the back of your ear. So let's get this looped up too and then just pop this in. Boom, boom, nice. Ah! This one is in, I'm just gonna add the backing so it doesn't fall and what I like about this set in particular um, is the tapers come with backings not that you're supposed to wear the tapers as jewelry but um, say for instance if you lose the backing to your gauge the tapers come with backings so you have like extra backings pretty much that happened to me the other day um, I took a shower and I noticed that the backing of this ear actually was gone um, and I was like damn now I definitely have to size up, but I didn't realize that they came with extra backing, so. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Uh, if you can guess where that's from, please let me know because we are destined to be best friends. And just like that, we are good to go. Nice. Well, okay, friends, I guess that concludes this video pretty much i hope you enjoyed um i know i got a couple of messages uh from some of you saying that you guys are like also trying to start stretching your ears or you've just been like too afraid to and you kind of want to see how mine my situation kind of plays out so by all means i am completely fine with that i would probably do the same thing so um yeah i'm more than i'll be more than happy to like continue to uh, keep you guys updated on this journey of mine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and obviously staying home during this time if you are able and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!